Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Philly Flex back with another video. Today is a rainy day here in Palermo and I figured it's the perfect time to develop some film. I wouldn't call it a tutorial. There are way better videos on the internet that explain each step. I just want to show you how I develop my film and maybe you can get something out of it. So we're going to develop a roll of Ilford FP4, medium format film. I shot this roll of film in my Rolleiflex. I took a few photos uh, for my workers series, so of uh, workers here in the streets of Palermo. I don't have any video footage of these shots, I like to interact with my subjects, so... But still I can show you some of the shots I got. You just need a few essentials to develop your film. You need, of course, your developing tank. I would recommend you to get a changing bag, darkroom bag. So this is where you have to put in your film. It's always a little bit difficult, especially in the dark. So you have to really get used to it. You need something to measure. You will also need a thermometer because you have to develop your film at a specific temperature and you will need a few mugs or whatever protect your skin and use some gloves so we can start I would need you to bend over and cuff up uh, I mean let's start developing So I always have my notes. For one roll of 120 film, I need 590 milliliters of developer, but um, I won't uh, use it as stock, but I will use it as a one-on-one -on -one dilution, not to be uh, confused with dilution, which comes with uh, developing film, and it's one shot, one kill. So um, afterwards you have to throw it away. You can, however, use the stock dilution. You can use it more than once, but I wouldn't recommend it. And now it has to cool down to 20 degrees Celsius. So usually what I do is um, I just pour some cold water on it. But um, I'm very impatient. <laughs> I want to develop my film. And so, yeah, it's almost one minute. Feels like one hour. So now I'm starting the development, uh, 11 minutes. We'll turn it for the first minute straight. And then every minute three turns. When you put it down you have to always make some noise to make sure the air comes up. And sometimes I'm even opening up a little bit this tab. Okay, just to leave out the air. After the developing bath I make a step bath. You can do it just with water, but I recommend to use some vinegar. So now I have in here the, the fixer, the fixing bath. Um, with my dilution, I have to leave it around eight minutes. And always each minute, you have to turn it thri uh, three times, thrice. <laughs> There, so stayed eight minutes, and I will pour it back in my bottle because you can reuse it. So, and now it's just time to wash and rinse, and then it's done. So, I will just add a drop at the end of. Um, 
it's dishwasher thing. I don't know how it's <laughs> dish cleaning, dish cleaning. Uh, uh, I don't know. So it will help you against um, water marks. So we're done with this. Let's see if it's a delusion or the right delusion. Yeah, the magic worked. it I've all, I use these clips thanks to the weight it straightens and it's more flat and it's easier to scan 